country of Peru has a rich and varied history of Aboriginal culture. From the enigmatic Incas of the Central Mountains to the densely remote Amazon rainforest, where even today there remain isolated groups of indigenous people. Vast resources of oil, gold, and big leaf mahogany have put these uncontacted groups at risk. The uncontacted people living in voluntary isolation are the most vulnerable people on Earth, with a culture going back hundreds of generations who are trying to live the way that their ancestors have lived throughout that time. Along the Madre de Dios River in the jungle town of Puerto Maldonado, Julio Cusirici, the Shipibo indigenous leader and his organization, Fenamod, work for the rights of the uncontacted as well as other indigenous groups and for the protection of the rainforest. We believe it's important for two reasons. One, it is the territorial reserve where the indigenous communities in voluntary isolation live, where they must be allowed to continue to live as they choose. The other reason is that we can protect biodiversity. After witnessing decades of depletion of the rainforest, Julio helped form a partnership with small-scale loggers to successfully convince them of the importance of sustainable logging and to safeguard against illegal logging, much of it coming over the nearby Brazilian border. I first met Julio Cusurici under unpleasant conditions. I was a logger, and he was with Fenema. I actually verbally threatened him but eventually we formed an alliance because we all depend on the forest. And because they were the original people of the forest, we give them great respect. Julio knew to sit down and talk. And so today our federations work together to move our province of Madre de Dios forward. In 2002, Julio and Fenamod won a landmark victory for creation of a territorial reserve larger than the state of Delaware. He continues to petition the Peruvian government in Lima for additional protection for the people in voluntary isolation. Early in 2007, he even engaged the U.S. Court of International Trade. The case is looking for justice here in the United States to request a decision from the American judge to stop the import of mahogany that has been illegally logged in Peru. And in that way, we are trying to stop it in the territories of the isolated peoples. It is provoking their extinction in the Amazon. We have also spoken to the President of Peru as well as Congress and the First Lady to let them know about the problems and the deaths in that region. After winning the fight for this vast reserve, Julio and Fenamod found creative ways to protect it. Julio helped establish monitoring posts along the main rivers to curb the entrance of illegal loggers and to document the mahogany leaving. But when the government abandoned these posts, he trained local indigenous villagers to take over and work out a deal for the government to pay them. But Julio concedes there is still much to do. They are taking the very blood out of the land. They are leaving the land naked. We are fighting to make sure that we at least have forests, and that those forests provide for us, for the animals, and for all of us who live here on the planet. Even after threats of violence against him and his family, Julio continues to fight for the rights of the indigenous people living in voluntary isolation and the protection of the rainforest. What I want for my family is that my children better themselves and go beyond what I have done. So I think that little by little, we will be able to contribute new ideas and solutions. For outstanding environmental achievement in South America, the 2007 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Julio Cusarici Palacios, Puerto Maldonado, Peru.